children of God here, so that they are without excuse, sun, moon, star. We know there's a God. Because that, when they knew God, based on what he see, what they see, they glorified him not, neither gave him thanks, but became vain in their imagination. Their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Big bang, all this old food in it. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image of the corruptible man, into birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things, creating all these old foolish religion. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness the lust of their own heart, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who's blessed forever and ever. Amen. Everybody's in love with the world. That's where you at. You're in love with the creation instead of the creature. You worship an idol, you don't even know it. For as for this cause. If you keep doing it, God gonna give you up to vile affection. For even though women did change the natural use to their that which is against nature, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in lust toward one one another. Men with men working that thing that's unseen and, and receiving themselves that that recompense of error that was to be me. And even as they did not like to retain God and that not God gave them over to a rubber bay mind to do the things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetous, malicious, and full of envy, murder, deceit. Malignant and whispered back by the haters of God, despite of pride, boasted inventors of evil things, you know, like gender identity, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who know in the judgment of God that they would do such things as worthy of death, not only do they do the same, but they have pleasure in other folk that do them. Listen, I know those are some horrible things, but every time I see it happen, I say, Praise God, praise God. <laughs> That's how I know my God is God. Because these things he's just talking about, it don't even make no sense in the natural. <laughs> but God prophesied this over 2,000 years ago and it's going to pass just like he said it's going to come to pass. And he said, we see these things come to pass, lift up our head because our redemption is there. We need to get excited. We need to talk about this more than everything. Yep, let them go ahead. Let them enjoy themselves. Praise God. It won't be long, folks. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Praise God. Get out of their way. Just continue to teach truth and love on folks. That's all we got to do. But we got to teach it. We got to teach it. And instead of teaching it like that, we teach it that, yo, uh, it's the devil that's doing these things. It's the devil that's doing these things. They make all these evil laws because it's the devil. Men with men because the, the devil. Yes, yeah, the devil because they're the devil's children. That's what they're supposed to do. Get out of their way. So our father can come, so Jesus can come. So the kingdom of this world can finally become the kingdom of our God and his Christ so that we can reign forever. The last stripping code, Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Unprecedented natural disasters like never before false Christ and messiahs are saved all over the world through false religion created by Satan and his angels in, in and through men. War that will kill people at an unprecedented level because of the wealth of the mass destruction. The hearts of men are so full of evil until they even kill their own family members without any remorse. And last, the final destruction of Israel so that the Jews' eyes can be opened to fulfill God's promise to Abraham to save his children. Then Christ is going to come and then the kingdom is going to come. The last strip and close in Matthew 25, start at verse 1. Matthew 25, start at verse 1. This is what I'm excited about. All this corruption that's going on in mankind. Yes, yeah, it's bittersweet. <laughs> if I didn't know the truth, I'd be just going crazy. I'd be just crazy, heartbroken. But this is truth. That ain't the devil. That's the devil's children. And they're doing what the devil children do. We just need to get out of their way. Matthew 21 and 1. And Jesus went upon and departed into the temple, and his disciples came to him to show him all the building of the temple. And Jesus said to him, See that you see all these things. Verily I said to you, There should not one stone be left upon a stone. And he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him, saying, Tell us when all these things should be, and what should be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world to my this world system. And him coming to establish his righteous kingdom on earth. And Jesus answered said to them, Take heed and watch yourself, and no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I'm Christ. Not Jesus now. I am Christ. Christ means Messiah, means Savior. Okay? All these other religions, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, they're, they're, they're saviors. Those doctors of devils, deceiving men that they can save them, that they can live a good life through these things. That's all that is. Ain't deep. Okay? That I'm Christ and deceive many through these false religions. And you should hear wars, rumors of war. See that you be not troubled, uh, for these things must come to pass. But, the end is not yet. But they should rise against the kings, against kingdoms, and famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, and divers by everywhere. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then he say, then he say, and this is the part they really want to hear, shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Talking about the righteous. I love when our family members, I sell. And shall kill you. That's our victory. To be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. But they don't believe in no unseen world. They don't believe in what God promised us. That's why they're scared of death. 
And ye shall be hated of all nations of my name's sake. And then shall there be many be offended and betray one another, hate one another. Many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. And because iniquity, sin abound or grow, the love of many shall wax cold. We know that's going on. But he that should endure to the end, the same should be saved. But love people and lay out their life with people to the end. Don't care if they're good or evil, they're going to be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom should be preached to all the world for witness to all nations and then shall the end come. And when you see therefore see the bondage of death laid spoken by the prophet Daniel, standing in his holy place where to read all to understand. Let them which be in Judea talk about what's going on in Jerusalem right now. That's a sign of the end. That's a sign of the end. Right now, right now, we just waiting on what Israel is going to do to going to do to Iran. We know Israel, Israel and, and, and Jerusalem will have to be a, a, a Destroy one more time, and once they destroy Jerusalem, this time the eyes of the Jews are gonna be open. Hallelujah! This is the last time they're gonna destroy Jerusalem and Israel and destroy God's people. The eyes are gonna be open, and Judaism is gonna be gone, and there's gonna be nothing left but Christianity and Islam. And then the Muslim anger is not gonna be against just Jews, it's gonna be against Christian because the Jews are gonna be Christian, and that's when the great tribulation persecution of God's people in Jesus' name is gonna happen. It ain't really started yet, but that's when it's going to happen. And right now, Iran just shot at Israel. Israel's six to retaliate. The United States sitting in warships. Other nations are getting together, girded up. The battle, the battle's been selling the rain for this scripture to be fulfilled. That's how close Jesus is. Sexual morality like it's crazy. Men with men, justifying homosexuality, justifying marriage, killing babies and getting excited about it. Yeah, it's bittersweet. But this is what God said has to happen. That's the sign that we'll know it's the end. Don't fight against it. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. That's not the devil. That's God's word being fulfilled. And you need to teach it as God's word being fulfilled. And don't have the church out there marching against it. Don't have the church out there fighting against it. Because if you keep doing that, church folk will be out there. They're going to bust hell wide open because a lot of them will get killed out there. Fighting against God and they don't know it because pastors ain't got spiritual wisdom. To teach them truth. Jerusalem. Verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the one and on the Sabbath day. For then shall it be tribulated such as not since the beginning of the world that shall be. Verse 22. And except those days shall be shortened. No flesh shall be saved. But for the elect's sake. God's children. The days shall be shortened. Then if any man said to you. Lo he is Christ. This is Messiah. Believe it not, for there should be false Christ. All these false religions and false prophets. Because this man that's going to reign over the world, this beast is going to be a false Christ, a false prophet. And it shall show great signs and wonders. They're going to be showing great signs and wonders. That's why we need to get into signs and wonders. And so much that if it was possible, they would even see, deceive the very elect. Behold, he's, I told you not, God is giving us some understanding right now. Wherefore, if they send you, behold, he's in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he's in the chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning, this is how we're going to know when Jesus comes. This is how everybody's going to know when Jesus comes. Because when he comes, this is what's going to happen. In closing, last few scripture. And as the lightning cometh out of the east and shines into the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man. For whatsoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. There's going to be dead folks everywhere. Eagles, the buzzers are going to be having a feast. Immediately now, after those things happen, war, weapons of mass destruction will be fired. I'm talking about these, 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 these weapons that are not total destruction of the world because no, that ain't going to happen until God comes. But they're going to fire some of those, those coordinated weapons uh, weapons of mass destruction, uh, uh, nuclear weapons that they could control in just certain areas, it's going to happen. The Bible talks about, you know, a third of the world being killed during a battle. A third of the world is about two point some billion people in a battle. That got to happen. And everything being said in the race for that with the weapons of mass destruction, it got to happen. Read Revelation if you don't believe it. The next weapon we see is not going to be a conventional weapon. Because of the weapons of mass destruction, the next really major world war ain't going to be World War I and World War II, and ain't going to be nothing compared to this next war that's fixed to be fallen because the weapons of mass destruction, that number that God was talking about, a third of mankind is going to be killed. Billions, not millions like it was before. The weapons are already here for that to happen. 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun should be dark and the moon should not give a light. The stars should fall from the sky and the heavens should be shaken. And then shall you see the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man talking about Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven with great glory. And he shall send his angels and with a great sound of the trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect, talking about us, those that really believe that are still here, from one end of the earth to the other. God bless you and God keep you. It's my prayer. If y'all have any questions about anything I said tonight, just hit me up on Facebook, message me.
And I'd be glad to communicate to you to give you any understanding of anything that you're confused about or you say I was wrong, whatever. Just make sure your heart is right. Make sure you're sincere. God bless you and God keep you. It's my prayer. If it's the Lord's will, I'll see you on next Friday. Praise Lord. Praise Lord. Praise the Lord.